Hey there, this is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn to create this kind of design. Here you can see. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I will add a cylinder. So shift A and mesh and add a cylinder. And I will go with a 20 word cylinder. After that, you need to scale the cylinder along the Z axis. S, Z and then scale it along the Z axis in this way. Then you need to select top and bottom faces and then press I for the insert operation and give the thickness 1.5. After that, you need to select this top and bottom faces and then Delete these faces, select this edge loop and then right click bridge edge loop. Okay, so we have got something like this. I'm just going to scale down this little bit, S, Z and scale it along the Z axis. Then you need to apply the scale on the model. So control A, apply the scale. Then you can select these edge loops and then control B and add a bevel on them. Shape factor should be 0.5 and add a 3 segment bevel in this way. Now just you need to select everything and then press M and merge by distance. Just increase the merge threshold add there. So double words will get merged. Then you need to select this edge loop and then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make it different object. Just give the name to this object something 1 and 2. Now we have this just ring at here and you can see we have words at here. Select this ring and then right click and then convert to curve. Now we have curve at here. Then you need to add a Bezier circle in this way and scale down this. Give a name something like 3. Select this ring and go to the object data properties and then go to the geometry click on this bevel object option and then select that Bezier circle we have given the name 3 to this and you will get this kind of torus kind of shape then you need to select that Bezier circle and then go to the resolution preview in the object data properties and decrease the resolution and keep it on a 3 then scale down this circle so you can adjust the thickness of that torus ring kind of form something like this and then turn on that first object then I will just move this circle little bit along the y axis. So first set the origin to the geometry and then move it along the y axis in this way. Now that's look fine to me. Then you need to select the second object and then convert it into the mesh. And now we have the vertex at here, polygons. Then you can select both the objects and then use the union boolean operation in this way. After that, you can apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. You need to merge the words properly at there. That's the simple thing which you need to do. You need to select this edge loop which is double at here, control X to dissolve it and then start to merge the words properly. Select these words and then merge them at the center. You can see these words from the inner side of the mesh. So just merge them properly. Then you can select everything and then mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry. And now you can see you are getting the right proper edge loop at there. Select both the edge loop and then control B and add a bevel on them. I'm going to add one segment bevel at there just to create a little bit of tapper shape. Give the proper bevel width and then you can select these face loops and then press I for the insert operation in this way. Just to add a few more loop cuts at there. Then you can add a few more supportive loop cuts. Then press the control 2 to add the sub modifier and shade smooth it. And you will get this kind of design, decent looking design. You can check the shading from the matcap view and it looks really well. You can see it topology and we have got the decent looking topology on the model. You can repeat this pattern to complete the circular design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe this YouTube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video, take care.